guys, Marmalade here. Thank you so much for joining me for episode 14 of Five Things. And I want to give a big shout out to Lisa Allison and Mountain Cat 8 for this idea. They both had similar ideas, but was five ways to reduce blisters, especially on a long distance hike, like a through hike. I can tell you that through hiking and long distance hiking is a different animal than any other kind of hiking. And the best thing I could tell you for number one is to, to hike a lot Get your feet used to the abuse and the pounding and uh, it'll toughen them up. Also, maybe give them some calluses, but really get them used to what they're going to see every single day. You know, it's hard to simulate that in regular life. We go out and do a day hike and then even if our feet hurt or we get a blister, we heal. But you've got to do it over and over again. So try to get continuous days in if you're getting ready for a through hike. Number two is diligently research and try out shoes, whether it's a uh, trail runner or boots or something in the middle. Uh, try them out. There are no uh, perfect shoes or boots for any one person. Uh, just like a lot of things, our feet are all different, right? Um, our ability to handle uh, the pounding takes. Some people can handle, some can't. Uh, some people need lots of padding. Some people don't want any. All that stuff. You need to research before you ever do any kind of long distance hiking, or really any hiking is the right kind of shoe. Um, I was cracking up because recently I saw on a Facebook post for a PCT group, the guy asked, um, and remember, there's no dumb questions, but when you're a beginner, you really don't know, but he asked, which is the right shoe for me, you guys? And I was thinking, nobody knows the person, nobody knows your foot, only you would know that. So there is no way, you can be a millionaire and buy the most expensive shoes that exist. It doesn't mean they fit your feet right. You have to try them out. Um, people can give, you can watch videos on YouTube, and I've done gear reviews on my shoes. I talk about why I like them. I try to talk about what my feet are like, but there is no wrong or right. So yes, definitely go uh, try out shoes, hike in them, and test them out before you uh, go on a long hike. All right, number three is trying sock or socks combinations. Again, like the shoes and feet, there are no right or wrong combinations. Just find out what's best for you, uh, whether you like thin or thick or multiple socks or uh, wool, synthetic, cotton, whatever. Um, I can give you a little bit of help with what I did. I first started backpacking and hiking and uh, I watched a lot of videos and I had a lot of experienced hiking friends that knew way more than me. So what I did was I got the Njinji toe liner socks. I'll try to put a picture here of them. Uh, and I put those, they're very thin, and put them on my both my feet, of course, and then put Darn Tough, which are thin wool socks, which I still wear to this day. I wore those for years and years, including on my through hiking uh, attempt but what I did not like about them, they were perfect. I never got one blister ever. So it's, it's a solution, people still do it. But for me personally, I got tired of when you, when you pull off your darn tusks and then you pull off your liners, they're very thin. They turn, if you can picture gloves, they all turn inside out and all the toes are inside out and they were tearing between each toes. So it's hard to get the sock back in right. So to put them on the next morning, uh, they just became a big pain and they were wearing out at a faster rate than my darn tusks, which weren't wearing at all. So I had to keep getting more pair of those before I could get a new pair of darn tusks so just um, after I got off trail for my through hike I said you know I'm gonna try some experiment what I did was I just started day hiking and hiking and some of my day hikes are pretty far it could be 15 18 miles but I started hiking and testing my feet out without the toe liners socks the Njinji's and just my darn tufts and over time and I wasn't through hiking at the time before I the next year I went to Oregon and did another section I got my feet conditioned and tough enough to handle darn tufts so that's all I wear yeah so that's number three all right, number four is it's imperative that your feet are exceptionally clean when you put your socks on. And it's very hard, I'm guilty of it, when you're on trail and you're filthy already and you get out of your tent and it's dark and you don't care. But it's important that you get your feet very clean, especially between the toes, which is where you get blisters except for your heels and the bottom of your feet. But that between your toes, everything is clean. Um, so I'll give you an example. Uh, I did the Sierras this year. I'm continuing on my quest to finish the trail. And I hiked with uh, Luco, if you see this, I named him Luco, and he got a name because of his blisters. He uh, admitted that when he started his um, JMT hike, and I joined, I was doing the PCT, but we hiked together on the JMT slash PCT, but he admitted that uh, he hastily put his shoes and socks on the first day. He was so excited, and he had lots of sand and dirt between all of his toes. And he ended up getting, I've never seen this, and I don't know if it's all 10, but I think he had all 10 of his toes taped up with blisters. And I, I can't imagine, when you get one blister, it's painful, but can you imagine if you had all your toes I named him Luco because he had all 10 toes covered in Luco tape. His feet were just bandaged and he eventually got off of that along with some other things like sunburn and soreness and things like that. His knee started to swell up, but his feet, um, your feet and hands are the most important thing. So 
uh, I just think it's important that you make sure your feet are clean and also um, when you put your socks on make sure all the seams on your socks and everything are lined up because you can get blisters from the stitching being out of whack crooked if you put them on hastily so uh, just be really careful and and uh, diligent when you put your shoes and socks on in the morning it's very important especially if you're gonna hike for like 10 12 hours okay the fifth and final one is kind of common sense but pay attention when you're hiking whether it's a day hike or through hiking how your feet feel uh, you can generally what we get what we call hot spots when you're starting to get a blister early on uh, maybe your toes in between your toes are not cleaned out uh, I've had it where I've had stuff in my shoe so it's my socks and my everything's fine but I'm getting rubbing from something like a rock in my shoe so pay attention uh, really uh, pay attention to your feet and stop if it starts to get a hot spot check out your feet at the end of the day Check out your feet and see if you had red areas uh, that Luco tape I mentioned always carry some I wrap some around my lighter and my cook kit So I always have some you can wrap it on all kinds of things and um, Just have that in case you need to put it on your feet I've even used duct tapes which are wrapped around my hiking pole so use whatever you have to use if you're starting to get a hot spot and that and just try to uh, Kind of stop it before it starts all right guys that does it for this five things video i hope you enjoyed that uh let me know what you think uh, i'm looking for i have a lot of uh, ideas already but i'm looking for more ideas for five things videos or videos on anything you want to know or you're thinking about uh, i'll be glad to make it if i think it's uh, will interest a bunch of people and um, i want to give thanks to all my patrons uh, uh, thank you for you helped me very much uh help me do what i love doing so i appreciate you very much and lastly, just thank you for uh, following along. Make sure you subscribe and like and uh, check out some of my links below in the description box. But until next time, we'll definitely see you down the trail.